Allah and fill Allah. So, um, it's your brother, Greg Mills, on the show. I come with another you know, quick live lesson to the spirit and probably all about Shemel Shai. First and foremost, we're going to start by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Akarkodash, the honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Mills, who rule well and teach well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. So, as you can see by the title, man, we're, you know, uh, the, the coming of faith. You know, Babylon the Great, you know, has is martial law, man. Right? And the article that we're going to touch into, it reads, uh, full-scale medical martial law coming to America in 2024, right? Because, you know, as as the end of the year starts to round out, we see Esau Edom, you know, start to put in place, you know, the, their agenda for the next coming year, man. So all the things that we see taking place right now, you know, are leading up to, to how they want to, to start off the top of the year. Right. And in doing so, we're seeing various plagues and pestilences take place. We're watching the, the, the banking collapses. You know, we're, we're seeing the more uproars of the people. Right. We're seeing more sedition. Right. We're seeing the, uh, a more divided state. And as the scriptures tell you, if Satan be divided against Satan, you know, uh, his kingdom cannot stand. man. Right. So we're seeing all these things leading into this next year. And Esau, Edom, you know, they use. You know these these times. You know the the winter solstice is when they do the majority of their uh, their witchcrafts, man. So they're putting all these things in play in play, right, for 2024, man. And this is what's about to take place. You know, just in a uh, small scale, going into the medical martial law. Time. Do I get the article? Time. All right, there's an article on Tyranny News. Tyranny News. It says. Full medical martial law coming to America in 2024. It says it it has been nearly three years since Operation War Speed delivered Wuhan uh, CD-19 uh, scenes to the world. And more people than perhaps ever before are sicker than they have ever been. As the situation worsens, the government is ready to fully slot, ready, readying to unleash full scale medical martial law on America, likely at some point next year right now as we see right we got all these uh migrants right you know uh at the borders which are all military aged men right with no women or no children right so that they're they're, t they're usually uh that's a sign of them being military troops man right mm -hmm. whether it be united nations or whether it be of these other these other countries man but what we're seeing is they're they're uh about to lay siege you know, on America, man, right? They're about to cut the people off and they're about to start, <clears throat> uh, what's the word, to, to, to tighten the, the belt, you know, of the of these Americans, man. Okay. It says sources are reporting that upwards of 50% of people who got juiced were sickened by the shots, slot by the, uh, the jabs, who are still sick with no end in sight. Eight out of 10 recipients especially including those who got at least one uh, juice in addition to the, the primary series are suffering complications that could end up disabling them. According to Dr. Peter McCullough, every single person who got even just one is now experiencing some kind of problem or series of problems related to the heart, whether they realize it or not. Those who do realize it often discover it by surprise when they suffer an unexpected cardiac arrest or inflammatory reaction like myocarditis as the time goes, like, you know we told you you know never trust thy enemy man right this this man has no no good intentions for you, you know, every, everything that he has uh they puts forth has malintent right the war was in his heart but his words were smooth as oil right so everything he does is, is for your destruction jake you know, and that goes into these these jabs, man. But as we read on, they're they're putting things in place. They're setting bills up. They're doing various uh, things on the governmental side uh, to to trap the people in, right? And they're gonna use this, you know, with this uh, this new pestilence that's coming out of China, right? Uh, uh, some type of pneumonia, right? But 
they're, they're going to use that, you know, as a scare tactic, just as they did in, in 2019, man, right? And it's all the the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because these devils need need to uh, cause disorder in order to bring in, you know, their world order, man, right? Or to, to attempt to bring their world order in. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, as time goes on and the bodies of the fully uh, V degrade even further, there will likely come a point when a critical mass of sick people creates enough of a public health scare that the infamous camps are open and filled with the sick. New York is said to have its core uh, camps ready and waiting for the, the political green light to start loading up the boxcars, so to speak, and delivering prisoners to their bunks. Other states are reportedly doing the same often quietly, which um, they, they had this thing on, um, you know, a so-called truther on like uh, Instagram, and pretty much he was talking about some call like, Two two one three or two thirteen, and essentially, is actually going into this to where they set a law, to where they was gonna make these camps and stuff like that, and um, pretty much is gonna be taking people off the streets uh, if they considered them uh, sick. You know, you can't, you can, you can no longer uh, take, you know, the test anymore. They they pretty much are deeming those that they they, they feel like it's necessary that that they're sick. You know, right. so it says so, uh, New York just had their. Um uh they passed a law or something something of that nature where uh they can quarantine you without a reasonable cause right so you don't have to be showing any symptoms you don't have to be you know pretty much you could just be a person of interest and they you know they can scoop you up man and we know that this is ultimately leading into the persecution of the prophets man right because they're just looking for ways to, to be able to uh to take people into uh, custody it says, believe it or not, Florida under Governor Ron DeSantis is another state where residents face the same force situation that New Yorkers do under Governor Kathy Hochul. DeSantis is a Republican and Hochul is a Democrat, demonstrating one, once again that tyranny is a bipartisan effort in America. Hochul's forced measures are at least clearly outlined as such. DeSantis is hiding behind a so-called... Uh, that upon closer, closer, closer investigation is actually a forced max bill in disguise. As stated directly in DeSantis, no max bill the government of Florida can now issue an order for an individual to be examined, tested, uh, veed, treated, isolated, uh, quarantined for communicable diseases that have sig significant morbidity or morality, mortality and present a severe danger to health, public health, individuals who are unable or unwilling to be examined, tested, feed, or treated for reasons of health, religion, or conscience may be subject subjected to isolation or quarantine. The, DeSant the, the DeSantis No Max Bill goes on to state that if an individual in Florida is deemed to be a danger to the public health, he or she can be apprehended by the state health officer and forced into isolation or quarantine, just like the new the New York bill. Many right, conservatives like we were just saying, right? It says an individual that that is deemed to be a, a danger to the public health, right? And they with no evidence, right? What does it say? They can force you into isolation, right? So this is you know that that martial law. This is the those draconian measures that we're seeing. You know, Esau Edom take, you know, because uh, he knows he has that short time, man. So he has to continue to move quickly, right? You know, he, he's uh, swinging for the fences right now. So we're about to see new pestilences take place, right? That are going to ultimately, for, because, you know, the people who write these articles, they're focused on, you know, the past, you know, the C-19, right? But we, we know that there's more plagues and pestilences to come, right? And they're going to use those as scare tactics. Kind of like the brother was going into, they're pre they're pretty much going to uh, use the different measures that they used before. You see, because it, the scriptures say that Esau is a cunning hunter, you know. So, essentially, the, the, the stuff that worked for him in the past, you know, um, he's going to use again because the masses are asleep. I'm gonna keep going in this article though. It says, it says, many conservatives have been fooled by the contradictory rhetoric of DeSantis over the years, but the guy's a tyrant 
who is arguably worse than Ho Chul and other Democrat governors. At least New York does not have an anti sham bill in place that uh, squelches the First Amendment, this being another plank in DeSantis' Florida tyranny regime. If there is no practical method to isolate or quarantine the individual, the state health officer may use any means necessary to V or treat the individual. The DeSantis no max bill further states about how Floridians can now be forced V if the state deems that there is no way to isolate or cue them quarantine. All right, so it says more related news coverage about the controlled demolition of America can be found at collapse.news, which it's a controlled collapse, you know. Essentially, we're, we're seeing a collapse, you know, the the, the, uh, the dollar, you know, the food system, you know, the uh, the medical system, so to speak, because this devil wants to put a, uh, he already has uh, um, control of everything, but he wants to to, have to bring forth, um, like the brother said, those draconian laws. So let's get some precepts. This is, um, let's get, uh, let me get Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 144. And I'm going to get, I'm going to get verse 7. It says, send thine hand from above, rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children, which I'm going to get a precept on that as well. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12. And verse 12, it reads, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You see, because the scriptures say, uh, knoweth, not, knoweth not thou this of old, that the, the triumphing of the wicked is for, for uh, but for the short moment. You know, and, and uh, uh, pretty much, yeah, you're just going into that, you know, because pretty much, Esau Edom has only had a, a short time to be in rulership, you see. So he understands that he has to come down with that great wrath, which I got right here. This is the Holy Psalms 144 and verse 8. It said, verse 7, send thine hand from above, rid me, and deliver me out of great waters. All right, because that, that great waters represents that flood, which is Esau Edom, from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. So them same tricks that he used. Before the 19, he will come back with those same things because the masses of the people is essentially going to follow after them. All right, I got another one. This is Revelation chapter 13. And um, we'll get verse, let me see. You know, you know where it says, um, speak it as a dragon. Because that's that's essentially what he's doing, you know. He coming forth with those those great here right here. This is Revelation 13 and 11. It says, And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a, a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Which when you go into to dragon, when you go into Draco, that's essentially those draconian measures. All right, so they're saying like these are you know those unrighteous decrees, you know. He, he's speaking as a dragon, you know, very, very strict, very stern. Um you know, over the top uh, measures, you see, because they can they can say, hey, you're diseased or you're 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 sick. You know, you only have to have a test or anything. If they just feel like um, they feel like that officer feels like, OK, well, um, he has the discretion to decide if, if you're sick or not, even if you're not, you know, so they're just going to be grabbing people up. You know, that's that great wrath like we're going into, you know. Yeah. I'm going to grab this real quick. This is Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two. And verse 10 in the NLT, it reads, He will use every kind of evil deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they've refused to love and accept the truth that would save them. But the point, he will use every kind of evil deception, man. Right? Esau is about to get heavily you know, in his bag of tricks, man. Right? He's going to pull out all the stops. 
right? Because he knows this is his last chance, man. This is his last hoorah, right? This is Custer's last stand, you know, all, all that, man, right? He's standing there, you know, he, he's ready to fight to the end, right? But he's going to use every deception, every tool, you know, everything in his uh, in his power, in his might, you know, to, to, to bring down as many people as he can, right? And this is just the, this martial law that, that's about to start taking place, right? The persecution that's going to uh, amount as a result, you know, it's just part of that deception, man, because he's going to have the minds of the people, you know, uh, fooled into thinking that this is for their good, right? You know, if you can get that uh, First Thessalonians 5, right, because, you know, this is all a, a quote-unquote safety measures, you know, and the people, that's what people are clamoring for, man, right? They, they, they want to get back to those comforts. They want to get back to those conveniences. And they want to get back to ultimately being so-called safe, man. This is First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a, a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as right. travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Mm -hmm. So when they start to say peace and safety, man, right? People in, in their comforts, even you know that you know, because we know that what's it called? Civic participation is a major uh, factor that they they use you know, to to ultimately push these things upon the people. So you, as we saw out in um, Australia, right? You got other citizens reporting, you know, so-called uh, unjabbed, right? Uh, they, they report on each other. So that the government doesn't even have to do it, man. Right? They don't have any hand in it. Right? They're, they're what's it? Plausible deniability, right? Because the 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 people are the ones uh, turning each other in. But going back to that, you know, it they it's a so-called safety. It's the, the the thought of safety. They they have these so-called comforts, you know, brought back. But that martial law is gonna affect everybody, man. Right? And it's ultimately so that they can bring that karagma in man right because once they get military control then it, it, it takes less effort for them to push uh whatever uh propaganda that they need to push out there man right and keep going verse four says but yea brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief ye are all children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness right we see these things coming, man. We see them coming a mile away, right? You saw telegraphing his punches, you know, as usual, right? So we, as we see these things unfolding, right, it's, it's our job, you know, as prophets, you know, to, to disseminate this message to the believers, man, to, to put it out there so that you can be warned and that you can prepare yourself in the spirit, man, right? So that you can, this is the, the as we brothers go into, you know, very often, right, make good use of this grace period, right? Because the Lord granted us this grace period so that we can get into good graces. That way, that when we see these things coming afar off, we can be prepared in the spirit, man. Kyle, you want that second ask us? Uh Kyle, you can keep reading down on this. Kyle. For uh First Thessalonians chapter five and verse six, it says, Therefore let us not sleep as others as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right, for so they we were commanded to watch, man. Right, watch and be sober, meaning meaning sober minded. Right, now not not intertwined in the cares of this life. Right, not not getting caught up, you know, with the 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 Babylonian customs and the the you know the comforts of this world and the the deceitfulness of riches that the scriptures tell us, man. Right, we don't want to be uh, blinded to what's coming. You don't want to be drunken and stum stumbling and staggering, right? When in the wartime, right. So like I said, let us not sleep. As others, but let us watch and be sober. And, and us watching is reporting on these various uh, events, man. Right now, whether or not it happens the way it is is written in the article or not, you know, it's it's our duty, you know, to to report on these things, man. Verse seven: For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet the hope of salvation. For right. the most high. So, God, you finish that up. Go ahead, finish that up. God says, For the most high hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashayak. Mm -hmm. So the point being, 
right? We we we've been given the chance to 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 receive that covering, man, to receive that that breastplate, right? To receive that helmet of, uh and that hope of salvation, man. Right? This is the time the time that we've been given to prepare ourselves, man, and in watching and praying, man, right? And seeing these events unfold, right? This this martial law, it's not it's not a light thing, man, right? And then, and you can see the uh what's the word uh you can see the steps that they're going to take to implement implement these things man right they're all they're all being laid out what with the new diseases coming with the 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 what's it called the new constitutional amendments that they're making all these things are taking place so that they can ultimately push this martial law upon the uh the masses man. verse 10 no, that's that's it on that. You can grab uh, that second Ezra. Okay, this is second Ezra chapter fifteen, and verse thirty-seven. It says, no, "There shall be." Part, you said sixteen. Okay. All right. It's second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse thirty-seven. It says, "Behold, the plagues draw not and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth, great pains." compass her womb which pains so which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not a moment even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side right this is what we're seeing man we're seeing these sorrows come upon the land on every side right the the, the finances are, are crumbling right people are you know struggling paycheck to paycheck more than ever before you know there's more homelessness it's more plagues it's more pestilences famine is about to come right hyperinflation you know world war three is on the horizon you know we are we are we one event right a so-called ff event you know away from everything kicking off man right and all and we're watching the motb infrastructure you know being put in place all these things that are taking place right is it surrounding these people man right and what's going to be uh they're going to be locked up in the houses because of this martial law situation man. right because it's not gonna you know just because uh they say they have these quarantine camps you know prepared right that doesn't mean that people are going to be able to move about you know in in the same way that they thought they or they did in the uh prior right that's why they're pushing these 15 minute cities man that's why they're pushing the the, the carbon agenda right because they're trying to keep people in the houses man you know, and in order for people to earn whatever conveniences, right, that they grew accustomed to, what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to bow the knee, right? But the scriptures tell tell us, right, that he kept seven thousand going into a complete number uh, that did not bow the knee to the image of Baal, man, right? And then uh, bowing the knee, it's going to be them taking that karagma, man. Yeah, precept. This is uh second Isaiah Ezra chapter fifteen and verse eighteen it said seventeen. <laughs> It says a man shall desire to go into a city and should not be able, which we've seen a, a, a prologue, a prelogue, whatever, whatever the word is. The, we've seen the uh, the prior in uh, in the 19, you know, they, they had like we if you had to work, you had to get a little pass, you know, like your, your little slave pass, you know, like a hall pass, so to speak. You know, so like I, I can't remember the certain the, the parameters, but I think you, you could only go to work and then go back home, you know, so it's going to it'll be like that, you see, but it's going to be worse because this devil is uh pretty much tightening up the squeeze you know things yeah. are just going to progressively get worse like you mentioned um i said i did a, a video earlier but 50 percent of people said that they can see their cost of living standards uh decreasing so that essentially goes into you know they having to, to make those uh, life decisions you know uh whereas they, they used to get you know um eat out a lot say like 10 times a month you know now they gotta eat probably like six times a month you see it whereas they used to get like 20 uh things of tissue now they got to get eight you know so people having to, to make them life decisions you know and things is, is changing you see but just going back to your point um essentially you know those five minute cities you know 15 minute cities you know esau wants to have a uh this place um strict you know draconian keep going in the second estrus uh so let me check That was pretty much the point. I mean, you know, not to you know be the dead horse, but this, this whole 
what we're seeing right now, right, is Esau Edom, you know, putting the squeeze on. And ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai putting the squeeze on these people, man. Right? You know, it's, it's coming on all sides, coming in all facets in every every aspect of uh, of your daily life, man. And if you don't have that hedge of protection from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to fall victim to all these things, man. Right? If you don't have that that house to run into, right, being those names, right, if you haven't built that relationship with the Lord, right, you're not going to be protected in these times. So when the martial law troops ultimately do roll, right, and they start collecting people, right, for, uh, you know, you being a person, a person of interest, you know, you're not going to have that protection, man. But that's why we continually fight, and that's why we, we exhort, uh, uh, you know, all you brothers and sisters out there to continue to fight and continue to push, continue to pray, man, and continue to watch. Because these things you know, are, are rapidly approaching, man, right? Because we're at the end of the year. So there's no telling what's going to happen, you know, in coming in 2024, man. Mm-hmm. Come but unless you, unless you have anything else, we can close. I got two more. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 21. says, Behold, victual shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. So like upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion, which is great confusion. You know, great confusion has been going out, you see, but it's gonna that's only gonna increase, you know, if the famine is getting worse and the sword. You know, it's a, a lot of uh, mass death going out, you know, and that the, the spirit of judgment is gonna continually uh, uh run rampant throughout the earth. And it says victuals shall shall be so good cheap upon earth, you see, which victuals can go go into food, you see, but it goes into supplies and one one supplies that's low. Or one, one supplies that's cheap is gas right now. You see, so a lot of people are saying, oh, gas about two dollars, you know. So they feel like, oh, you know, they got a raise at work, you know, gas two two something dollars, you know. So they, they feel like you know nothing's going going to, going to happen. Verse twenty two, for many of them, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine. So it's going to be a lot a lot of people that, that perish in famine. You see, because again, the the famine is only increasing. All right. It says, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. All right. And it's essentially, uh, you know, what's going to take place, man. It's going to be a lot of uh, judgment just going on, you know. A lot of people, what Esau has going on right now is it's the uh, the bread and circus, you know. So a lot of people are not focused on the things that are, are taking place. They're not focused on what's going on in uh, in uh, Moab, Mawa Abu, uh, China, you see. They're not focused on that, on that pestilence. They're not focused on the family. They're not focused on know all the uh, the crime running rapid you see they're not focused on the laws they're not focused on the legislations that you saw Edom is pushing you see so they're, they're going to be hit by a wall you know they, they're going to be here for a rude awakening that's why it says in um first thessalonians chapter five like we got you know though they shall say peace and safety because they feel very secure in this so-called prosperity they feel very secure in these cheap gas prices you see but they're going to be hit um by a wall you know and that wall is going to be prophecy god it's a sudden destruction Right, came upon them, and hey, there was no escape. Right, the only escape is is through your how about Shemuel was shot, you know. But that was that was it. That was it. Uh, hey, so hey, we pray our lesson was edifying through the spirit, and probably how about Shemuel was shot. We want to close by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakah Hakudash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And peace and blessings to the whole for the leg pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom, shalom. Yeah.